एवरी वन हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू सक्सेस ब्रिज यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाफ एड आर यूज इन टू क्रॉस वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट हाफ एड आर यूज इन टू क्रॉस वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू नो अबाउट वॉट इज हाफ एडर half adder is a digital logic circuit that perform binary addition of two single bit binary number it has two input x and y two output sum and next we can see here the circuit diagram of half adder and the two table of half adder here in two table there are two inputs x and y the two inputs how many number of possible input combinations we are getting 0 0 0 1 1 these are four possible input combination we are getting once we are constructing the two table next we have to represent the output variable sum and carry sum is represented as s and carry can be represented as c in the form of sum of mean term so here sum of mean term can be observed mean means summation m observe the two table the sum column in the sum column where the look the where the number of ones are presented the number of ones are presented at 0 1 and 1 0 then corresponding numbers are 1 and 2 in the same way the carry output can be represented the sum of mean term then observe the truth table of carry output column in that carry output look the number of ones are presented when x is 1 y is 1 the carry is 1 then corresponding number is 3 once we represented the sum output and the carry output of half adder in the form of mean term next we have to implement the half adder by using the 2 cross 1 multiplexer 2 cross 1 multiplexer have one selection line and two data line and corresponding to the one output the input variable x can be assigned to the selection line and the remaining input variable y is considered as data line here what are the input variable of multiplexer i not and i1 we have to write in the column side we have to write the input variable of multiplexer that is i not and i1 so in this row wise we have to write whatever the variable can be considered as the input variable that's variable how many number of possible are the input variable y can be considered if y value is equal to equal to zero that can be represented by y bar if y value is equal to 1 then it can be represented by y so these two values are written in the row side okay next one now observe the y column in that y column the y value is zero occurred at the mean term zero y value is zero occurred at the mean term next one in the column y va value is one occurred and the mean term is one y value is occurred at the mean term right the input variable y column the y value is zero occurred at which the mean term y value is zero both the input 
variable y contain two possible that is y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1. y is equal to 0 means can we represent as y bar. Then y is equal to 1 means we can represent it as y. So now once we done then we have to fill that values with the corresponding main term. Okay. Observe the sum output. As you can see here the sum output can be represented as the main term of 1 comma 2. So here 1 and 2 are circled in that box because sum output can be represented as sum of main term 1 and 2. Therefore the two are two main terms are circled. Okay. Next observe the I naught column. Here the main term 0 main term okay main term 1 is the among that two main terms which one is circled and the corresponding input y is therefore we have to write i naught value as 1. Next one observe the i1 column. In that I1 column, mean term is 2 and 3 are exist. Among this, mean term 2 is circled. So, that's we have considered the mean term corresponding to the input variable is y bar. So, we have to write y bar. Therefore, input variable I not contain the value is y and the I1 variable can contain as y bar. Okay. What is I0 value and I1 value? That can be calculated by this using this table. We can calculate the I0 and I1. Okay. This is for the sum output. Okay. In the sum output, we have to find the I0 value and the I1 value. The I0 value is y, I1 value is y bar. So, so in sum we can write as y and y bar can be assigned to I0 and I1 respectively. Okay. Now next here the input variable x can be considered as selection line input. If suppose if x value is equal to 0 then I not input select line is selected containing that y value. This value can be considered the output so that can be assigned to the output variable of sum. If x value is 1 so the select line selection line is s selection line is i1 is selected the input i1 input contain the value y bar so that the value can be assigned as the output of sum of variable okay so in this way we have to implement sum of half adder by using 2 cross 1 multiplexer in this output we represented next we have to find out the carry output can be implemented by 2 cross 1 multiplexer for that we have to find out the i0 value and i1 value okay among that two inputs variable okay x can be considered as selection line variable so we have to write here and y can we consider the input variable okay whenever y can be considered as input variable so the input variable can be contain two possibilities because it contains single variable it contain two possible value that is y bar and y so y bar can be written when y value is equal to 0 
y can be written when y value is equal to 1. Okay. Then observe the input variable y column. In that input variable y column y0 occurred at which min term 0 min term. Second min term here we can have we have to write 0 min term and second min term is y contain the value 0. Similarly y can consider as value 1 at the min term 1 and the min term 3 is contain 1 as you can see in that table the 3 is circled whatever the mean term that are present in the carry output that mean term can be circled whatever the mean term they are present and the sum that can that can be circled as you can see both in sum output and the carry output then I not column in the I not column there are two min terms they are 0 and 1 is 2 are not circled at that time I not contain the value I1 column consider the even column two mean terms are present 2 and 3 2 and 3 as you can see up three is circled so that we have considered the so we have to consider that mean term right the input variable is y so we have to write y okay for i1 value and i0 value we return as 0 to avoid i0 value 0 can be substituted here i1 value can be written here as you can see here now if x value is equal to 0 then the select as you can see here of the second sum carry output okay as you can see if the x value is 0 See the second diagram of carry output. When x is equal to 0, the selected input is 0 can be assigned to the carry output. If x value is equal to 1, then i1 input is selected. It is contain the value y. y can be sent. It has to the output. This entire operation can be done. Okay. This entire operation is done by using 2 cross 1 multiplexer. In this way, we in, in this way we can implement the carry output. Next, see how we implement the sum output. Let's consider when the look the sum output. Okay, when we assign a selection line x. Okay, when the selection selection line is 0 that is i not value is selected the value y can be assigned to the sum output if the value is equal to 1 the i1 input is selected it can contain y bar then y bar can be sent to the some output this is how the entire operation is done of the sum in this way we implemented 2 cross 1 multiplexer by using the 2 cross 1 multiplexer we design the half adder thank you